down uh, means it is not read, uh, it is not allowed in the first hand. So they do it secretly, okay, without teachers' permission. So you can say increased plagiarism. Okay, increased plagiarism. Because the one yeah. thing about AI is that it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. okay. AI can come up with different answers. Okay, depending on the situation. You know, it can give uh, a user one set of uh, answer and it can also give another user another set of mm -hmm. answer. So it is very hard to track. Okay, the uh to track whether the student plagiarized or not. Okay, plagiarism means topi, increased plagiarism. Okay. Mm. Yes. Get it? Yeah. So these are the cons. Okay, I can think of two cons. What about the pros? Do you have any other cons to talk about AI? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay. What about the pros? What is so good about AI? Makes much more easier to uh, very function. Convenient. Mm. Easy. Okay. You can say make uh, whose job, uh, I mean, make it easier and convenient for who? For both who? For both teachers and? Students. Students, yeah. Okay, make work easier and convenient for both teachers and? And students. Students, yeah. Because sometimes, the, the, I mean, the students, uh, sorry, the teachers, they need to make questions. Ma. They need to make exam questions. Mm. Uh, it's very overwhelming. Okay, so they will make use of AI to make some questions. Mm. But of course, at the same time, students can do the same thing also. So that is why plagiarism might happen. Okay, because the students know that teachers are going to use it anyway. They are, okay. they are also, I mean, they, they won't find, uh, I mean, they can also do it the same, uh, do the same thing. Mm. Uh. So, and then, um, I mean, now is it, uh, nowadays we also have AI um, speaking partner. Do you know that? No. There is AI speaking partner. Okay. For example, if you want to improve your language, mm. your uh, improve your command in language, like let's say English, you need someone, you need a speaking partner. At mm. school, you cannot find speaking partner so they have this AI speaking partner for you to practice speaking with mm. Mm. okay so there is this AI speaking partner so what is good about it to learn our speaking yeah help students to uh, not learn our speaking but to improve Mm, improve okay help students okay it helps students to improve their speaking skill and fluency okay Okay. Okay. Anything else? Mm. Mm. 
imagine that you have so much, you have so much homework to do. And then um you won't be bothering your teacher most of the time. Uh. You won't be uh, text texting your teacher, teacher how to do it. Oh. Correct? Yes. So what will you do? You turn to AI. Mm. Yeah. So it can be a a helpful homework assistant. Oh. Yeah. It can be a very useful tool. Or you can say homework assistant. All right. Uh, or you can just say useful tool. Lah, a virtual tool. Okay. Virtual means she huan the means it's something that is uh that is not fake. I mean not fake lah, but you cannot mm. touch it. It can be a very useful virtual tool to help. Okay, or sorry, to facilitate students learning process. Mm. Especially in languages, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. You write it down. Okay. Especially in languages, science and technology. Oh, sorry. It's languages, science and math. Mm. And mathematics. And many more. Okay, done. Done, huh? Okay, very good. So now let's write an essay, okay? So what can you write? Uh, the pro and cons of AI. Mm -hmm. But before we talk about it, we can give an introduction. You can say in the age, okay, in the digital age of technology, uh -huh, in the digital age of technology, there are, there are artificial, uh, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has what? Has AI. Um. Uh, yeah, I know AI. Artificial intelligence. Mm. What happened to it? Are important to us. Uh, okay, we can say plays a significant role. Can say, but it's a very important role, right? You can say, art in the digital age of technology, artificial intelligence has played an in an important role or played a significant role. Significant role means an important role. Mm -hmm. All right, in the age, uh, in the digital age of technology, artificial intelligence has played a significant role in our daily lives, law, mm. including education system, okay, in our daily lives.
Okay. Yes. Yeah. It tremendously, okay, tremendously is like it tremendously affected the workforce and education system. Okay, it tremendously affects, okay, you say affects because it is singular. Okay, mm. it tremendously affects the The work of students. The work of students. Hmm. Hmm. How? The work of students. Can you say that? It tremendously affects the work of students. No. Mm. You can say behavior, maybe. Mm. It tremendously affects the. You can say work culture among the adults and students. You can say the work culture just like Nakakongwa. You know, previously, uh, without AI, la, previously without AI, so what will you do? You will ask your parents or you will ask your your friends for help. Okay, so that was uh, the work culture. But then now with AI, your work culture is like, oh, you have to rely on AI. You will log into the website and then ask questions. That is your work culture. Neither one hua. Right? Yeah. It tremendously affects the work culture among the students and adults. The work culture. Okay, done. Okay, then uh, so the next paragraph. Is this long enough? Yes. Yes, long enough, huh? Good. So you can say first of all, okay. Mm. Um yeah, you can say first of all, or first and foremost. First of all or oh, first and foremost anything oh. or you can say first and foremost we cannot deny that AI is one of the most powerful invention mm -hmm. okay we cannot deny all right, first and foremost, we cannot deny cannot deny that what? Not, or deny the fact that AI is the useful one of the most powerful. Hmm. Say, yeah, we cannot deny the fact that artificial intelligence which is commonly known as AI, yeah. or commonly referred as AI, right? First and foremost, we cannot deny the fact that artificial intelligence, which is commonly referred as AI, To be or is we cannot deny the fact that AI 
is is one of the most powerful powerful invention mm. that okay most powerful invention and full stops sorry full stop and then you can say it so you can tell it is able to understand human language right it is able to understand um layman language mm. all right it is able to understand or another word for understand you can learn is comprehend. Comprehend? Ah, mm. Means the same as understand. Okay. It is able to comprehend? Comprehend? Flawed human language. Flawed is like imperfect, not perfect. You know? Like for example, I want to ask uh this one, this one how to do. I don't know, I do know. Okay, or oh. you have spelling mistakes. You know, flawed means your chia xian. Okay? okay, flawed human language. And help us to correct it. Okay. It is able to comprehend flawed human languages and help us to or, or you can say and give us an accurate answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And say an accurate response or answer. Okay. Hmm. So this helps. So what? What is it? You can say this helps student to, um, improve. Or you can say this uh, helps to point out the mistakes that the students make and the students can improve from it, can learn from mistakes. Mm. Correct? Because this you are learning from students. This helps students. Mm. To maybe learn from mistakes. Mm. Yeah. This helps students to learn from mistakes. Okay. Um this is long enough, correct? Yes. Do you want to read again and then you find some uh, inspiration to try the second one? To, uh... Okay. First and foremost, we cannot deny the fact that artificial intelligence, which is commonly referred as AI, is one of the most powerful inventions. It is able to comprehend fly hu human languages and give us an accurate re response. This helps students to learn from mistakes. Okay, this one is called flawed. Nah. Flawed. Okay. Mm, not flawed. It's flawed. Okay? Yes. Mm. So the next one. So you can say like students can save a lot of money mm. on tuition. They can rely on the on this virtual this free virtual tool to find answer. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
right? So you can say, you can say this powerful uh, invention is a blessing for, for most of the students, mm. right? This invention, or you can say, uh, yeah, this invention is truly a blessing. Right? This invention is truly a blessing for all. For students, huh? maybe you can talk about students, okay, because you are a student. Can you tell me more about it? Like how? Uh, make work easier and convenient for both for students yeah you can talk about students okay it makes work easier to be done for students mm. okay for free you can say for free most of the time it makes work easier to be done for students for free most of the time Easier. So you can say students can students can turn to AI chatbot. Okay, turn to AI chatbot. Mm -hmm. chatbot. And ask some question that they do not understand. Yeah, to ask some questions or to ask questions they do not understand. Understand. Yeah. Students can turn to AI chatbot to ask questions they do not understand. Hmm. So you can say this actually uh, spikes students' uh, confidence. Hmm. Okay. Like you ask the AI and then eh, the AI can understand you. So you feel confident. Okay. You feel confident that, oh, okay. I'm asking this question and then this AI can understand me. Mm. So it makes you uh, more confident in asking question. Okay. Yeah. This in turn. Okay. Or this will help. Increase the students' interest to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will help. Help increase. This will help increase the students' interest to learn. A certain topic. If they are serious. All right. If they are serious. Means like you read the answer like seriously. You never um, copy blindly. You know, some students, they copy blindly. Mm. Me, I don't do that. Yeah, because maybe the chat box doesn't, do not understand you. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe the AI do, do, doesn't understand you. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you false information. Mm. Yeah, but still it is a good step 
because you ask the AI to 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 solve your to solve your problem and then it really works. So it makes you it makes you interested to learn. Mm. So you can say with AI, okay, with AI. With artificial intelligence, most of the students do not need to attend tuition classes anymore. Right. Mm. Um, and it saves up a lot of money. Mm. Okay. So you can say with AI, with a artificial intelligence, most of the students can skip, okay, may skip. May you use the word may because it's like it's an option. You can you can choose to skip or not to skip it. Mm. All right. Most of the students may skip some tuition classes, lah. Some lah, maybe mm. like probably history is not uh it's not it's not possible lah because history is a very hard subject and also it is in Malay. Mm. So it's very hard for AI to give you the answer. Right. With artificial intelligence, most of the students may skip some non English, may skip some tuition mm. on non English subjects. Okay. Still writing, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Almost done. Okay. Hmm. Okay, done. Hmm. You can say as a result, what happened? Because you are skipping tuition, ma. as a result, what? Mm. The result is good or bad? Yeah, it's, of course it's good because you are, mm. I mean, for you, you skip some tuition, ma, correct? Mm. Oh, sorry, you skipped some tuition on English subjects, right? Because you cannot skip tuition on non-English subjects. Most of the students may skip some tuition on English subjects, correct? Yes. Yeah, so... I think because if you say English subjects, uh, sorry, English subjects, then they might be confused. Mm. Maybe. Okay, wait a minute. English. I can think of this English medium subjects. Yeah, you can say English medium subjects. English medium subjects refer to academic courses taught primarily in the English language. This is common in countries where English is not the native language. There is a but there is a growing demand for English medium education due to its global significance. 
yeah, English medium subjects. 就是 like 英文 as 那个传媒 the subjects. For example, like science and mathematics, lah. Okay, most of the students may skip some tuition on English medium subjects. Mm. Okay. May change it as a result. It helps parents, right, mm. to save up a big chunk of money. money. Yeah. As a result, it helps parents to save up a large chunk of money mm. on tuition fees. Okay, it helps parents to save up a large chunk of money. It's like a large yeah, chunk, you can add this. A large amount of money is also okay. Okay. So what is the, what else? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also a speaking partner partner that can help students to improve their speaking skill and frequency. Mm -hmm. Great. You can say now we have or now an AI speaking partner is available. Mm. Okay. Or you can say surprisingly or shockingly, you know, mm. surprisingly, an AI speaking partner is now available mm. on many social, uh, on many mobile apps. And desktop, you can say desktop means for computer, lah, or maybe you can say or oh, and personal computer. Mm. PC, okay. Surprisingly, an AI speaking partner is now available on many mobile apps and personal computers. Mm. So not only uh, they help you to learn English, sometimes they also teach you uh, there are many other languages at, uh, as well, like Japanese, you know, Japanese, Chinese, and many more. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. You can interact with a virtual AI speaking partner. You can you can say students can now. Okay. Interact with virtual speaking partner. To practice what? They're speaking and listening skills. Hmm. Hmm. So what else? 
It can be very useful focus tool to facilitate students' learning process, especially in languages, science and mathematics. Oh, you talk about science and mathematics, huh? Mm, you can skip math, science, uh, and mathematics because oh. now you are talking about speaking partner, ma. Mm. Uh, so you can say students can learn can be okay. No, students can possibly train themselves to be polyglot. Okay, poly polyglot means someone who knows many language. Mm. Yeah. Or train themselves to be multilingual. Mm. Because, yeah, just now you say facilitate their learning process. That one, that one should be in the third paragraph where you ask the AI chatbot for already, answer. Already third paragraph? Or third paragraph. Ah. One, two, three. Two. Now we are writing the fourth paragraph. Third paragraph. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So you can say students can possibly train themselves to be multilingual as well. On these platforms, okay? It is really useful, okay? It is really useful to help boost the student's confidence level to speak mm. in non-native language, okay? It is extremely useful to boost their confidence level. Who speak in non-native languages. Non-native languages means language uh languages you are not good at. Uh not your first language. Mm. So all these are the pros. Hmm. Hey, can you read it? Surprisingly, an AI speaking partner is now available on many mobiles, app, and personal computers. Students can now interact with virtual speaking partner to practice their speaking and listening skills. Students can possibly train themselves to be to be multilingual. Multilingual as well on these platforms. It, it is extremely useful to boost their confidence level to speak in non non native languages yeah okay mm. so the next paragraph the last paragraph so what do you say um, however however there are some cons that AI can bring about. Mm -hmm. In education, uh, can bring about to, sorry, can bring about. However, there are some cons that artificial intelligence can bring about to 
the education system. Hold on, uh, let me check. I'm going to charge my laptop. There are some calls. Can bring about okay, Doug. Dana. However, there are some cons that artificial intelligence can bring about to the education system. Students and teacher be overly reliant on AI to finish their work. Yeah, can be. Okay, you can say students and teachers. May be overly reliant on this technology. Okay, instead of keep uh, saying artificial intelligence, you can say on this technology. Mm -hmm. And then after that? Wait, do, wait one minute, uh, teacher. Soon. Okay. Increase plagiarism. Yeah, you can say increase you can say how mm. or you can say this you mean this may cause uh? yes okay this may cause an increase in plagiarism yeah imagine the teacher is also using ai to make questions so the students can also do the same thing. Mm. Yeah. So plagiarism, uh, plagiarism might happen. Okay, done. Done, uh? Okay, very good. So in a nutshell, it means uh, this is the final paragraph. You can say in a nutshell. Okay. In a nutshell, and then after that. There, is... are... Hmm? there are pros and cons. Uh... Hmm. There are good and bad. There are good sides and bad sides of AI. Mm. There are good sides and bad sides. That AI, artificial intelligence, huh? you can write. In a nutshell, there are good sides and bad sides that AI can bring to the society. Like a survey that AI can bring to the society. And education sector, okay, in education sector, mm -hmm. teachers 
must be cautious. To teach the students to draw a borderline. To draw a borderline means draw a limit. Lah. To draw a borderline means not to overuse it. Lah. You know, people might misuse AI. Mm. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Teachers must be cautious. Cautious means careful. Mm. Okay? Cautious to teach the students to draw a borderline when using a... When using... AI chatbot. Mm. You can say to teach the students etiquettes. Etiquettes means like a like um like a, I don't know what to how to say that in Chinese. Etiquette is like like a li. I think it's called li. Uh, yeah, teach the students the etiquettes. Ooh. yeah. Teachers must be cautious to teach the students etiquettes to draw a borderline when using AI chatbot. That's it. Okay. Okay, finished? Yes. Good. All right. So you can go back and read this uh this essay. Lah. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today's class. And I'll see you. Bye-bye. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi. Have you finished your exam? No, I think I have two more labs. Huh? I think I have two more labs. You have two. You have two. Two more labs. Two more subjects. Is it? Two more subjects to go. What about English? English done. Done. Then how was it? I think it's not hard. Like it's easier than I expected. Oh, it's easier than expected. Good. Yeah. So what about the things that I gave you? Did anything came out? I mean, did anything come out from there? I think no, but like most of them, like the format are the same. The format are the same. Yeah, like, I need you to rewrite the sentence in passive. Oh, write the sentence in passive voice. Something yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Right, so tomorrow, uh, I mean, are you going to have exam tomorrow? Yeah, history. History, I see. Oh, then that's a lot of work to do. I mean, yeah. do you yeah. want to like replace today's class to another day? Are you like worried? Because I'm scared that you cannot focus. Uh. Um, no, nah, all good. You're fine with it? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay, so I'm going to give you some speaking questions. Okay, I'm not going to burden you. Right, so over here, do you give to charity or volunteer? Do you give to charity? Means like you give money to the charity or you volunteer yourself to be um, someone who helps in their in, operation? Not really. Not really. Yeah, rare. Like, I... I, I, I I volunteer rarely and like giving money to others. 
Oh, you rarely volunteer yourself. Yeah, I rarely volunteer myself, and yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing charity. Oh, you're not doing any charity. I think it's not the right time for you because you will focus on your, on your studies. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal. Okay, um, you can say like I yet to be a part of charity. You can say I yet to be a part of charity means I haven't. I haven't been a part of charity yet. It's like not yet, lah, but probably in the future you will do it. Right. I yet to be a part of charity and um and volunteer and volunteer myself because I I am currently like focused on my studies more. And then I attend a lot of tuition classes and stuff. I rarely have the time. I barely have the time. For volunteering. For what? Okay, I barely have the time for volunteering. Okay, so the next one. What do you think are some important charities people should give to? Well, what should I give? Like. Like what kind of uh charities people should give to like, like some people they think that ah, uh, um I don't need to give to the old fox home, you know some people they have their own preferences. I think mostly the disabled society um old fox home and orphanage I guess. Orphanage, <sighs> old fox home and also some like disabled community. Oh, for disabled community, yeah, true. Okay, for some, um, disabled at community that I think they they truly need more money. Disabled yeah. community, right, and also especially for those who needed medical aids. Those who need medical aids, especially those who need uh uh like. Let's say they, they never buy any insurance, right? They they pro uh, they probably need uh quick money, quick cash to pay for the medical bill. Right? Yeah. So yeah, some people might think that it's not necessary, right? For some uh like for some people, like just for one person, imagine you donate few hundred thousands of dollars for a person yeah for one person for a person so some people might think that it's a waste lah. yeah it's a waste <laughs> to, to save your I life you should give it to more like oh what is like it more people to more people yeah. so they can split the money right yeah mm, yeah true i also personally think that way I feel like it's a waste, like you you spend so much money, so much resources on a single person who can probably get a, an insurance himself or herself in the first place. But and then you know, this person's parents uh they are not like very poor, like they can afford a house, a big house or what. You know, because I saw um I saw an app, not advertisement, I saw a poster about it. About a little girl. She's uh she she has um some kind of diseases, some kind of disease, and then her parents are like living in a big house or what? Because there is a video of it. So I think it's it's a bit wasteful uh, to because they uh, I think this person this this kid, this female kid, she yeah, female, she's a female. She she needs around like uh millions millions of dollars to cure her disease. Yeah, so it's kind of wasteful to like donate. What, hmm? like what, pardon, like what, what disease is it? I can't remember. It's a very rare disease. Yeah, it needs. I mean, it requires uh millions of ringgit to to cure it. Something I think more like, than a million. There's something like Jason, like you can't you can't even terminal disease. Ah, I am not sure about it. It's quite long ago. 
，绝症 is called terminal disease。Yeah, like you can't. If it's terminal disease, then, um, like you have to accept it, lah. But I mean, it. I mean, it happens to someone. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to anyone, lah. Nobody wants it to happen in the first place. Correct. Terminal disease. Right. Yeah. It's waste. Uh, for some people, they think that it's wasteful to donate to a single person to a single person who needs a medical aid. Oh, sorry. So, um, do you know of any bizarre charities? Bizarre is like strange, like weird. If I'm not mistaken, uh, do it. Let me check what yeah. is bizarre. I think it's called strange. Yeah, correct. Very strange. I've never met one. I've never experienced one. Yeah. Do you keep any pet? Like a dog. No. No. Will you will you keep one in the future? No, no guess. No, I guess. No, right? <laughs> you have to keep you have to groom it, you know. Yeah, it's not easy. Never mind, we can skip the third one if you don't uh you don't know any of it. Any of them. So do you give people you can read the question yourself. Do you give money to homeless people? Do you think people should give money to homeless people? Like it depends. Like if the if if he's homeless and like he's disabled, I think I I think I I have I have the right to give them money. Mm -hmm. And if if he or she is like um able, like, they are they are they are not disabled and they have a. Like no no normal body like us. Um, I think you shouldn't give money to them. They can work by themselves. True. You mean like if they are able, just like us, just yeah, like normal people. Like we, yeah, they are they are just like normal people, like no disabilities. Yeah, I think. Then they uh, don't deserve it. Yeah, they don't deserve it. Mm. They don't deserve any donation. They can work by themselves. Correct. Right. So, who do you think needs charity the most? The most? Or... Mm -hmm. Like, who needs the money the most? Like, who needs more attention? Like I need to I need to pick from orphanage, old folks home and disabled communities. I need to pick one, right? Yeah, you can take you can pick one. I think I think um I think the old folks home. You think the old folks home, they need more money, they need more attention. Yeah. Why? Like because most of the most of the like old uh like the old old man or old woman they they have I don't know how to say like they, they are mostly sick and some of them have Alzheimer's and can't control their like they like I don't know how to say like they can't control daily lives and like yeah Parkinson um like you need you need a lot of resources to like to maintain their daily lives mm, to sustain their living correct yeah. we need lots of resources to sustain their living so all folks home um depends. For those who are able to afford, uh, to send their older, their older members to 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 nursing homes, sometimes they need to pay thousands of ringgit. We have two types. We have uh, 
old folks home, which only just takes care of their of their living, their basic, their basic living lah. And another one is nursing home. Nursing home usually you will need to pay. I mean, their family members will need to pay, uh, some sort of money to maintain their living and also to, yeah, take care of their health as well. Hmm. Also, you think old folks home requires the most resources? Is it or yeah, attention? Yeah. I I feel bad for disabled communities. Hmm. For. For disabled communities, I feel bad for yeah, them. I, I think yeah, they need more charity the more the most. I personally feel that way. Okay, because um yeah, they are disabled. They cannot work, and it's very hard to take care of them. Right, some some of them they don't know how to manage themselves. Like wait, let me write over here. Most of the disabled people. Most of them are unable to manage themselves. Like they cannot take care of themselves when when to go to toilet. Unable to manage themselves. But old, older people, they also do that. Some older people, they cannot control. So that's why they need to uh, wear diapers. Yeah. Mm. So the next one, how much do you think government should give to the can should give to help other countries? Oh no. I, I think this is this mm -hmm. is a bit inappropriate. How would you allocate money to help other countries? Charity starts from home, you, you can see. How much do you think government should give to help the other countries? Charity starts from home. Why are you spending the money to help other countries? Yeah. Like our Prime Minister, he donated money to help the Palestine. Palestine. Do you know that? Do you read the news? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, he donated. He sent help to help the Palestine. He can, I mean, um, but still... That, that's optional for the government. Yeah, but then there are so many things to be fixed, to be done in our yeah. country. Right. So how much do you think government should give to help other countries? Mm. I think that's inappropriate. Huh? I don't think it's necessary. You can say, I don't I think, think that's necessary. reasonable. Yeah. So, who, who, who is normal in the head will do this? No. Okay. Should we, so, should. Yeah. Can we? Should we people and corporations be forced to give charity? I think, of course, no. Like that's their own choice, and yeah, they 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 can don't do this too. Like, of course no. Of course no. It's uh they have their free will. Okay, they have free will to do so. Yeah, they have free will to do so, but for some countries uh for some corporations or companies they they are forced to give back to the to the employees through the EPF empl uh, employee provident fund so do you think that do you think there are charities that are scams mm -hmm. like they must themselves as charity and then yeah. they tell you to donate money to this uh, account. And then they will show you a book or maybe like an album of the pictures that the old... Yeah, sometimes I mean... Yeah, sometimes like... Like they pretend they pretend not to be disabled or like they pretend to be a, a society like helping helping others. Mm -hmm. They pretend to be... Scams. Yeah, correct. They pretend to be uh 
to be a charity. Um, I mean, they pretend to do charity and then they uh, might ask or call the people to, to, to donate some money, especially money. So does your country have a holiday when it is traditional to help out people in your community? If not, should there be a holiday like this? Like that? Oh, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, you have a holiday and then and then that holiday is specifically um, well utilized to help out the people. I think that's unnecessary. <laughs> that's unnecessary. Why? It's worth having like something like oh a world charity day. You need to you need to donate something to the poorest at this day. That's weird. For you, it's weird. I yeah. see. I mean, there are many other days, right? There are many yeah. other days that people. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, or else if you do that, if you, um, uh, make it a holiday, it will reduce the um. The, what is this uh, what is that called the productivity yeah like just the focus on one day I yeah think. imagine the whole people everyone does does the same thing right so that's unnecessary or else the efficiency will drop the work efficiency will drop so whole the work efficiency as a whole will drop so who is going to suffer? The companies is going to suffer. Yeah. yeah. The corporates, the big corporates and companies. Yeah, those big companies. And companies are going to suffer. Why? They are paying their uh, employees for nothing. They pay their employees for nothing. Correct. Do you think it is better to give time or money? Like what time? Like mm -hmm. giving time, like helping them or what? Yeah, helping time. Oh, sorry, helping them. I think we should give money, right? Because there are... How to say? Who is going to... Uh, that, that's, not, that's not our job. Right? We need to let those... No. Or like some... some non-profit organization uh, members to do that. So I think we can we can just like donate money and let the non-profit organization people do uh the rest of the stuff. Um uh, it means you let the pros do their job lah. Yeah. Just let them do, do their job. You can say like uh, I am not trained Okay, I am not trained, so I'm I'm afraid that I will not do a good job in serving the people. Lor. Okay. Uh, yeah, say I, I feel like I don't I'm have not experience. Ah uh, yeah, I'm not fit and experienced. Lor. I am not fit and inexperienced to serve the people. Lah. Because you give time to serve people. Lah. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. And then the next one, we talk about change. Are you someone who likes change? Change like Lin Chen, Zhao Chen. Oh, no, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how you how you transport, how you transform. From uh from I mean since primary school to now. Mm. Are you someone who likes change? Like uh maybe you change the environment of your house. Mm, I think no. Or try something different. No. That's a big no. <laughs> so you don't you you don't like it? I don't. No, you dislike it, okay? No, I, I dislike like it. it. Because uh, it takes time and effort to adapt to a new change, right? Yeah. Yeah, it takes what? It's just troublesome. It takes time and what? Huh? It takes effort. time and effort. 
to adapt to a new uh, change. Yeah. So in what ways you have, uh, in what ways have you changed since you were in junior high school? I think there is a big change in you. Mm. Because I started teaching you since, uh, since primary school, correct? You were in yeah. standard six, I think. Yeah, I think standard six. <laughs> now you're in. Oh, junior three. Junior three, yeah. It's about like it's almost four years, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, four years. So I can notice a big change in you, especially the language, the first language that you use. So is your first language still still remains to be Mandarin or it's sort of shifted already? Like Depends like some some friends. I think they are, they are banana. So yeah, of course I use English. And like I I usually uh, I mostly use um uh, Mandarin Oh, I see. Um, oh, I, not only I know like in Chinese independent schools there are also some chi some 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 kids they are still bananas. They are they use English as first language. Is it? Yeah. Oh, then what about their Mandarin? Um, I, I think, um, very bad. I, I don't know, like some, some of them, like, yeah, the Chinese are very good, but, but they can't speak well. Oh, that's strange. That's strange. I feel so jealous, like, sometimes their marks are higher than mine. Which one? You mean? Mandarin. Mandarin, ah? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, have you noticed changes in you? You are much yeah. more confident, correct? Oh, I can't say this. Why not? Oh, that's a bit too... A bit you, don't too want to sound, you don't want to sound too vain. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's okay to acknowledge you, acknowledge your own effort. To sound too vain. And some people, they don't want to sound too vain, so they might say, uh, no. Yeah, so in what ways have you changed since you were in junior high school? Or probably since you were in uh senior primary school? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, think no big, I think no big changes. Like no big changes. Uh, yeah. Like I think all of my attitude are still the same. Your <laughs> attitude is still the same. Really? Yeah. Like for like about education. About your about your education and in your studies, correct? Yeah, in your in my studies, like at least they remain the same. Oh, your attitude towards <laughs> studies. Yeah. It's still the same. It's like you won't prioritize too much on studies, correct? Yeah, that's of course. <laughs> then how do you balance yourself? Other than studies, what do you prioritize in? I'm doing other stuff like my hobbies. I mean, like re reading, reading some books. Um, I, I think I need to say playing games. That's all, that's for sure. Games. And some of my uh, co-curricular activities, I guess. Ah, uh, I see. So you you have a pretty balanced lifestyle. Um, I guess so. I guess so. I didn't prioritize my, my studies. Other than this, do you have like other like tuition classes to attend? I think no nowadays, like I only have English and math, I guess. Oh, so yours one is not too burdensome, is it? Yeah. Yeah, as uh, compared to I don't know, a few a few months ago, like my Sajara and my BM teacher, they don't want to teach anymore. Huh? They? They, they don't want to teach anymore. Like, 
or they retire. Because they are, because they are unknown, like because they are SMK teachers, and they wanna more, they they wanna like focus on their school staffs, I guess. Oh, so they stop teaching. They stop. They stop teaching tuition. Oh, I see. So currently, you only have mine and also another math one. Yeah, I hate the math one. You hate the math one. Yeah. Why is it online also or? Yeah, it's, it's online and the teacher like she didn't give uh good like clear instructions and just give tons of homeworks every week. I need to do till I cry sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but do you know how to solve them? No. Then what's the point? Then what's no, the point of I'm, I'm quit. I'm quitting soon. Oh really? I see. My after after my tong tao. For my UAC exam, I'm gonna quit. Is this your final exam? Hmm. Is this your final exam? Nope. No. I see. Tong Kao, when is it? I think about November, and my UAC exam, like, UAC exam is about ah uh, next when month. Trial. I'm dying. Like trial exam next trial month. Trial exam. I'm oh, dying. it's the next month. I see. It's yeah, I can feel the pressure also. Hearing uh, I mean from the based on what you what you say to me, I can also feel the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you think you will change in the future? Maybe. Can I say no? No change again. Huh. Like I guess, no big changes. No big changes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'll still be myself. You'll still be yourself. Is there any um thing or any aspect you wish to improve? Mm. Or a, a new challenge you wish to take up? New challenge? Mm. No. Maybe probably take up a new language? I don't want to step out from my comfort zone. <laughs> Don't want to step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so that's a good phrase. You don't want to step out of your comfort zone. You you still want to be you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. So for me, uh, like, how do I want to change in the future? So for me, probably uh, I might be taking a career break. In the future. Oh. Like when? Uh, maybe in the future. Not sure when. Yeah. But then uh night I, I will be taking like teaching as my um as my primary as my side job la as as in like I just do it for fun. Do it for fun. <laughs> Actually, in the uh, I mean, in the past, I when I got a lot of classes, it was too burdensome for me. But now I take it as you know, as a hobby for me, right? Because hobby? yeah, that's weird. That's like, my passion. You that's, treat teaching that's, as a hobby. Yeah, that's my passion. That is what I I like doing. Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird, right? Sometimes I might I might feel you know. Feel tired of it. Sometimes I feel tired. It's a love and hate, love and hate the uh, relationship. I mean, on on my work, on my career, mm -hmm. uh, because who knows? Uh, I might be getting another. I might be studying. I might pursue studying. Uh, as my first priority. Oh. Mm. I'm not sure whether to do elderly care or elderly care. Yes, to to take care of the elders. Or maybe um education, but then education, I I think it's a sunset industry. Do you know what is sunset industry? What what's that? Sunset industry. It's uh an industry that um you know like the sun is going down, in which not many people will do it anymore. Because yeah. it's already very saturated. Yeah, they feel like teaching is not. It's very competitive. Yeah. Very competitive. 
it's uh it's no longer uh the matter of uh, who is good and who is bad but um it's very competitive in which uh, there will be lesser um children in the future because the birth rate has declined yeah yeah and then there are lesser and lesser babies so that is why it's it's getting very competitive because you are competing with the retired people Normally, the retired people, they will choose to be a teacher. So that's the thing. So it will only get uh, more competitive. So this might be my second option. I might shift. So that is what I think it will change in the future. Like I'm, Probably I'll teach at night only. And then in the morning, during the daytime, I'll do something else. So I think this is a good question to uh brainstorm and to spike your to to ask yourself. Right. So we can skip this political party, all right, because this is something uh you you cannot control. So the only thing constant is change. Do you agree with this statement? Explain. Mm -hmm. What's that? The only thing constant is change. What's that? I'm not sure about not it. Sure. The only thing, hold on. The only thing constant is change. What does that mean? So, this phrase means that the only thing that never stops happening is change. I, and I need keep, I need to keep changing myself. Yeah. Nah. Like everything in the world is constantly evolving, transforming, and adapting. From the natural world to human society, change is the one unwavering truth. It means we will keep changing every single every every single time. Yeah. So do you agree with this statement? Mm, I'll disagree. You disagree, right? Yeah. Okay. Means like you can just stay to be who you are and just, yeah, just, just be who you are. Like don't change because of people. Don't change because of people. That's a wise a quote. Okay. So the next one. What are the biggest changes in the world you have seen since you were a child? Biggest change? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be anything, but like it could be technology, it could be um other things that uh, amaze you, that amuse you. Mm -hmm. No. I think technology is what yeah, technology um, of course technology yeah technology has been changing a lot i mean since uh for the past five uh for the past 10 5 to 10 years and recently we have ai correct yeah previously we have chat gpt now we have ai speaking partner yeah that's a big revolution yeah it's very evolutional i mean like now we have this AI speaking partner in which you can speak to it. I think it's paid. It's not free. But what we can use is we can make use of the chatbot. It's free at least. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just now you said the word. There is called uh, evo. What is it? Evolutional, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that is a good word. So what is the biggest change most people experience in their lives? Mm -hmm. Biggest change, I think. I think the level of like secondary school or primary, I don't know. Like, I think I'll go for work. Physical change, huh? Work, ah? Yeah, work. After, oh. after you, you, after you came out from university, Mm, okay. Means like the workload, is it? The workload that you yeah, the get workload. from uh primary school, secondary school, and university. 
Yeah, the yeah. workload. Mm -hmm. And then next one is change good or bad for a person's mental health. Like it depends. Like someone would think that that's good, like, and someone would think that's bad. I guess. It depends on the on the situation, like it depends. the situation that uh changes according to um according to what you are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like for example, uh like for me when I was hospitalized at time, so that change was actually good. Yeah, for, for some people they think it's bad. But because of that, I learned how to how to be how to be kind to myself. I just get all of us. <laughs> really? Yeah. But uh my my sister, I think my sister uh helped me manage it when I was in hospital. Correct? I just it was like you, you literally no sound at all and everyone's all worth and we are so worried about that. Oh, I see. Yeah, a lot of people are worried about that. But I'm glad that I'm back lah. Okay. So you can say like change can be uh can be I mean change varies. Um depending on the I mean, change can be both good or bad, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. And then, what is the most positive change you have experienced in your life? Most positive? Um, most positive change, I think. No. No. No positive change. No. You're too no. you're too 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 dull. I'm for real. I think no no positive change. I think positive change as in like uh yeah, you said your study your studies attitude change. But I feel like you no longer be so exam or oriented. You no longer feel that oh okay students uh, studies is your whole world and things like that. But that's of course like I, I can't find I can't find my motivation. You can't find the motivation. Like, like for the past like I want I wanna study that bad because I wanna I wanna get into uh, my secondary like Kun Cheng Ma. That, that that's my dream school. Oh okay, so <laughs> you study really hard for that. Yeah, I I work really okay. hard for that and coming here like yeah. now what's the point then did you regret your decision no but like i don't have any motivation for now oh you don't have any motivation for now like, Is, are you in the elite class um no nah. nah just an ordinary one the ordinary one but but not that bad lah. not that bad no so you are the same person you were five years ago, except for the books you have read, read the people you have met, and the places you have, you have traveled. Do you think this quote is accurate? Mm. Again, it depends. It depends on, because the books that we read, we, we read is like, I don't read as much. Honestly, I don't read as much. Normally, just read it from the internet. That's it. Okay, good. Okay, we have covered two teams. So, wish you all the best for your exam. I all think right. it's about time. Yeah, you, it's time for you to go study. <laughs> all the best to you. All right, thank you, teacher. All right, see you next teacher, week. Teacher, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.